Here's a step-by-step -step guide on calculating p-values in Excel. In this tutorial, we have two sets of data, for example, control and treated. Select a blank cell in which you wish to display the p-value. Fill in the t-test formula in this field. Type in equals t.test and select this formula. In this formula, Array 1 contains information from the control sample. Select all the values from the control sample. Array 2 contains information from the treated sample. Select all the values from the treated sample. Tails indicates the type of test, for instance, 1 for 1 tailed and 2 for 2 tailed. The option that is selected is determined by the hypothesis. Type the kind of t-test, for instance, 1 for paired samples, 2 for two sample with equal variances, and 3 for two sample with different variances is specified. For this tutorial, let us use paired samples. Now, input the close parenthesis and hit the enter or the return key. The p-value determined in Excel will be displayed in the cell where your formula was typed. If the p-value is less than the selected significance level, for example, 0.05, the null hypothesis can be rejected in favor of the alternative hypothesis. If the p-value is larger than the chosen significance level, the null hypothesis can be rejected. For Windows operating system users, the Analysis Tool Pack add-in can be used. This add-in can help gain access to sophisticated data analysis tools. In this part of the tutorial, we will show how to install the Analysis Tool Pack add-in to calculate p-values. To install the add-in, head to File, Options, Add-ins, and under Manage, choose Excel Add-ins and select Go. Now, in the Add-ins window, select Analysis Tool Pack and click OK. To use this add-in, users can head to Data and Data Analysis to perform the calculations. For Mac operating system users, the Analysis Tool Pack from Excel may not be available. Therefore, Another add-ins can be selected to perform this operation. Head to Insert, Get Add-ins, and in the search bar, type in Analysis Tool Pack, and select the appropriate option, and then click Add. Now, a new option is displayed in the Excel toolbar. Users have the options to choose any of the statistical analysis to calculate the p-value. For instance, let us try out the t-test using the paired two sample for means. In this window, select the values from the control in the variable 1 range. Similarly, select the values from the treated in the variable 2 range. Next, uncheck the label option. The choice of significance level, that is alpha, is essential and should be determined before conducting the test. Select a blank cell in which you would want to display the p-value after clicking on the output range. The output lists the result that includes the mean value of both the samples, variance, observations, and Pearson correlation in addition to the p-values. The p-value is displayed that was calculated using the paired two sample for means. Here, the p-value is displayed for both the one-tail and two-tail test. 
one can easily compare the values calculated using this add-in against the p-value calculated using the Excel formula. In addition, one can also explore the other hypothesis testing, such as the ANOVA. Thanks for watching.